Hello there, welcome back you lovely lot. Now today using these products, so we're using the stamping bits and bobs there, we're using the Moira Neon Yellow and the Neon Orange. This stamping plate from Beauty Big Bang 019, look at those images, aren't they amazing? And this stamping plate from CJS, and it's their Animal Print plate. So we'll be using both those on this design. Now, here I'm coming in with Sonia Williams glitters and this one is Tequila Sunrise. So I'll pick up a teeny weeny bead of acrylic, dip that into the raw glitter and I add that to the cuticle area. Then I'm coming in with Sonia Williams Citrus Fizz. These are all both from the cocktail collection. Now what I do is because this is how I find it easier to mix glitters when I'm doing like an ombre is I put one colour on then I put the other colour on then I go in with tiny tiny bits of the glitter onto the yellow and then the yellow onto the orange so you can see me there and then I mix it around so I have a section in the middle where it's blended into the two colours that's how I find it easier to ombre glitters so I do the orange at the bottom and the yellow at the top on this and I'm flattening that down making sure that's really really flat and it's a really thin layer of glitter. Then I go on to the thumb bar and here I put on the citrus fizz at the bottom. Now this is so much bigger than the little finger so I went in with quite a few beads here so you'll see me faffing around and trying to get that cuticle area as neat as possible not touching the skin that's priority before i start filling in the rest of the nail so i put that on and then i nudge it round into place so i use a tiny bit of acrylic dip it into the glitter pop that on the nail then while the glitter's wet if there's still sparse areas that need a bit more glitter i will go in with my wet brush and just add the glitter to that wet acrylic so i do exactly the same i will do yellow at the bottom then halfway down I will do orange at the top which is the tequila sunrise and then I will add a little of the yellow on the orange the orange on the yellow uh, with a teeny teeny tiny bit of acrylic if it's dried if it's still wet I will just pick it up with my wet brush and then mix them all together in that middle sort of section now that's how I do it that's how I find that if I drag it down and try to blend it that way like you do a normal ombre which you'll see me do a little bit later it drags the glitter away you know and I'm trying to keep it really thin so this is the best that I found for myself so I know it looks like there's like a massive line between the two and there is to start with but I blend it a little bit later So once I'm happy with that and I make sure it's all nice and flat I'm then moving on to the middle finger and we're going to do a chevron smile line this is using Moira's uh, cover powder and what I'm going to do 
is put the bead on, put my brush at a 45 degree angle and the first thing I do is I blend back that line. I do not want any shadowing when I put that second bead on. And I've been practicing guys, I've been practicing, so I'm really, really chuffed with this and it's definitely, definitely come on in leaps and bounds. I um, I do feel that the practicing has paid off and my, uh, my smile lines are coming up. I still faff, you know what I'm like. I have to faff. This is in real time. So apologies if it's really, really long, but this is how I work. I am slow. It's not something I do all day, every day. But I do practice when I, when I can. I do practice. I love to practice. I find it very calming. I don't know about you guys. I find it relaxing. And I feel I find it really, really calming. I just sit and do some nails. And everybody leaves me alone. And I, I just play. I like to play. So what I've done there is I've made sure that that back's all blended. And then I make sure my smile lines where I want it. It's level on both sides and I've got a small wall to put my next colour up to. Once I'm happy with that, I come in with that second bead and I'm going to nudge that into the cuticle area, tuck that in, swipe it down. Tuck that in and swipe it down. When I'm happy with that, I make sure it's not interfered with the wall that down blending that in and then I'm checking my wall making sure that it's not nudge that out of place and I'm happy with that so do you guys like to uh, like to have a play see what you come up with is that what you do for your relaxing time what do you like to do see this isn't a job for me I have a separate job so this is a hobby for me. Okay, right. Okay, now this is real. This is an ombre and I'm using Moira. So I'm going in with neon orange. I have used a really small bead and it is pigmented as chuff. Honestly, it's like, I didn't even take the water out of the brush or anything. I picked up the bead, I put it on and you'll see i've left i've left it in for you to see to watch um now what i do on this finger i do exactly the same on the ring finger now so that the video is not too long I've, I've only left this one in and i've left it in exactly how i've done it how i made a bit of a cock up and how i got out of it so <sighs> It's like I can't do a set of nails without making flipping mistakes, isn't it, eh? So, I put the orange on that finger, blend it back, do exactly the same on the ring finger. Put that bead on. I try to keep it wet. It's, it's so pigmented. It's super, super pigmented. So, I've got the bead on drag the intense colour up the tip where I want it and then blended it back trying to fade that out patting that colour down I don't want to, I don't want it to move I'm happy where it is so I'm patting that down and into shape So I keep faffing with that till I'm happy. I think there's a bit on the side on this one that I need to tiny, tiny bead just on that side. There was a gap. So I just fill that in with the colour. The Moiras are so intense. Colours are absolutely amazing. You want to see the yellow when I put that on. Dry whiz. So you see me do this bit. Then I go back to this. Now look at that bead. Look at it. Wow, I mean, it's a small bead, it's not a massive bead, it's really not a massive bead, I promise you. But it's so intense in colour. I mean, I know I wanted to cover up that orange line, but I just couldn't get it to blend. I could not get it to blend. 
don't panic just work that bead I go in with the cuticle bead sort that out then I'll go back to the blend now like I said I do it on the pointer finger you don't see me do this on the ring finger I do exactly in fact it went better on the ring finger I should have should have recorded that I thought I had but I hadn't now as you can see there's just one straight line there so what I do is I go in with a really really tiny tiny wet 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 bead try and blend that out that covers up the orange so then I need to go in with some orange and blend that back I mean don't get me wrong it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to stamp over it but this is another technique that I need to practice so I'm I, I don't want to just give and think, oh, well, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to stamp over it. I'm going to work it till I'm happy with it because this is what I need to practice. This is what I'm doing. So as you can see, they're both on braid and I'm letting them dry. Then I'm going to go in with the neon orange on that smile line. Now I have filed that. I gave that a file with a 100 grit glitter bells metal file because it is straight and uh, give that a good file into shape uh, it didn't take long to be honest it really didn't and then I put that neon orange on and got a little bit on the skin there so took that off with my uh, extension on my nails I didn't touch it on my skin and I get it off because the, the, the smile line was quite deep on that chevron on that on that triangle shape so okay I pop that on once I'm happy with that I will then cap all the nails in clear and I will file that I'm just checking see if there's anything else I need to do file that into shape then we're going to stamp so this is the animal print and I put it all over the chevron so that's me picking it up I tidy up the sides and I put that onto the middle finger then I go in with a brush and I tidy up the cover smile line area I don't want it on that I only want it on the orange so I thought I'd leave this in show you how I actually so what I'm doing is taking the black off and when it's on my brush I wipe my brush get a bit more isopropyl alcohol on and I go back again and I tidy that up till I'm happy it's like colouring really isn't it like a rubber <laughs> just rub it out okay now I'm going to do the exact same so I go in with the Moyu black stamping polish on that uh, CJS animal print plate and I'm going to put that on the ring finger and this is going to be the animal tiger print on this so that's two nails down and the last one this plate is amazing guys amazing it's it's awesome I'm going to show you how, what I picked up here so I put the black polish on look at that look at that detail oh okay so I pop that on the nail I'm going to show you the finished look in a minute kept it from you and I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see it when it was finished because I absolutely love it so I'm just going to show you me topping this top coating this little nail look at that glitter isn't it awesome zoom in there look at that look at that and that blend is beautiful <gasps> look at that tiger oh my god do you know what? I think this is the best design that I've ever done. I am absolutely thrilled. I love it. Anyway, guys, this is the finished set. I really hope you like it as much as I do. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you did. And if you do like this design, please hit the thumbs up. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching.